we are going to create the categories inside our home page so uh, the news will be categorized into categories and ordered by categories i will copy now the drawables and i will create a new package called activities and another package is called adapters now inside the main activity here i need to uh, add the circular image library i go to the the gradle and i will search online for this github this is the circular image library i copy its implementation and i will click on sync now so we need to display the categories in a circle of views in a grid view on our home page uh, about eight icons that we have copied it in the first uh, in the in the last couple of uh, minutes and i will create now a new resource uh, layout called item underscore category underscore layout and copy this okay i will change the drawable to icon one uh, okay let's me check uh, we can change it category image it's id now let's add some some identities and the attributes for it i will make the circle background color teal 200 so it will this be this the icon will be displayed inside a teal or around the green uh, color background i will make it 50 50 as the width and height and border width 12 dp okay you can download all the source codes from our Udemy course, so get the link below and uh, check the resources uh, resources for downloading these, um, these uh, source codes. All images and all uh, layouts are included. Okay? So, this is the linear layout and orientation is vertical I will create now a text view wrap content and wrap content for width and height and here we go for the text view and gravity would be center layout gravity okay so it is centralized okay now under the slider layout and the main activity i will create a grid view that we have created and i want to initialize it inside initialize views method And I will create an adapter inside the adapters called category underscore adapter. This is for the grid. This is a grid layout adapter or sorry, grid adapter. It will extend base adapter and it is responsible to putting the categories icons inside the grid. Okay. Now. Let's create a view holder. As I teached you before, that every custom adapter, we start by making its view holder inside, inside it. It is an inner class called the view holder or extend view holder. And inside it, we will declare the widgets. And then we are going to implement and override the, uh, sorry, implement the methods and we are going to uh, 
to uh, make the constructor for the adapter that we have create and make some uh, variables and widgets for it. So for now, I have created the layout inflator and uh, the list of demo categories. I will make also a cl internal class called demo category. Okay. class demo category it will contain uh, integer called image ID and st string called image name I will make this constructor that I told uh, I have told about uh, told uh, you about it. The constructor. Select the context. Okay. And everything is working fine. Now let's pass the layout inflator, layout inflator, and context dot get system service and pass the context.layout inflator service demo categories equal new array list and let's pass to demo categories and add demo category one for example r.idrawable dot image one i'm adding now the the category demo categories that I want to be to be displayed, so I can put here the categories. I will paste it here. About eight. It's called icon. Sorry, I have missed. It's not image. It's icon. These are the icons. I, maybe I have missed the four. Okay. Eight and nine. Uh, okay, I see four. Okay, I see four. So, icon number two. The first one is called basics. The second one, the title would be the logic. And three would be Android. The fourth is binary. The fifth is components. The, the sixth icon is called Java. The seven is HTML. And the eighth is database. These are document uh, uh, categories for our news okay get item i will return the position and get the view i need here to inflate uh, inflate the view so as i told you in the previous videos if you watched the series we have to initialize the get view and inflate inflate the uh, layout inflator with the view holder and the custom layout that we have created so the view holder i have created it is an inner class that i told you it's the first step in the custom adapters that we start with and i will create a convert a convert view which is a type of view passed uh, to get view I will initialize it as a layout inflator and put the uh, item I underscore category underscore layout, which is the custom layout that we have created and holder, new holder and holder dot circle image dot convert to view dot find view by ID R dot ID. And here we initialize the text view and the circle image view. Okay. 
else view holery convert view dot get tag return none okay everything uh, sorry return convert view everything should work fine now this is our adapter uh, okay now let's go back to the initialized view and the, sorry the main activity and let's make a general grid view adapter grid view adapter why I have uh, make it like this let me refractor refractor it I will put it as grid G grid category adapter okay I will name rename it here grid category adapter okay everything is working fine I have missed also the constructor okay now adapter uh, attention please pay attention guys for this many people asked me about adapters I have initialized it the views and inside the adapter I, I need to uh, link it with uh, the custom adapter and the layout so I need to put a method called set adapter don't miss guys to add set adapter okay now let me check 200 match parent and here we go we have displayed okay I missed the number of columns equal to four okay so this is our grid let me make some uh, other touches code touches final touches these are okay now centralized now the layout margin top is 40p it's from above sometimes the emulators would not respond or maybe there is bug but uh, everything is working fine why it is not displaying okay back to the grid view we missed to to pass the data to text and image view so if you look back we have a hello and uh, the images are the same inside the category uh, inside the grid we need to pass the data that we have created so holder dot set text demo categories dot get position dot get image name and the same using the glide library with context load demo categories dot get position and image name and into the holder dot circle image view okay let's run and see and here we go we have basics logic android binary components java html and database okay everything is working fine i have error in glide okay i have here the error image where is image image id okay i need to put image id okay let's run and very good guys we have a parse the categories uh, exactly okay now let's add some padding and margins the nested scroll view we open the main activity and let's add for the slider layout some margin margin top or margin button sorry for the slider it's 40p and here we go we have seen 
Okay, 12 dp it's good. Maybe 8 also. It looks nice. And it's good. You can make what uh, whatever you see it uh, and whatever you fit it with your demands. Okay? But till now it's very clear. So, guys, I want you to support me on Udemy to rate us five stars and su subscribe to our YouTube channel, Master Coding Channel, to support me making new tutorials every day. Thank you, guys. I hope you stay safe from Corona and see you next video. Next video. Next video.